Hey there everyone, just wanted to do another very brief vlog update there about the 3D printer and everything that is going on, especially with the channel so far there. It has come along slowly there, slowly but the coming pretty well there I like to think. The, it's been a lot of just understanding and like fine tuning the settings there of the program itself. What is it? XYZ, where is the actual program? That is what I had to install anyway to make use of the 3D printer, so mostly I've been fooling around with that quite a bit. Just trying to get higher qualities, testing a couple of things there. Like, I actually ended up just 3D printing one of the Moff uh, frigates or corvettes that I was using for my Galactic Civilization Let's Play. So, I actually used that to test it there. And I even have it here present with me at the moment. Only downside, of course, is the wings kind of did not survive the transition. Just briefly looking at the monitor to make sure it sees there. Otherwise, it seems pretty good there. I made the layering basically a lot smaller there and it, it's maybe kind of hard to tell on the vid on the webcam but there's a lot left the grooves are not as nearly as big I'm trying to I guess I can't zoom in unfortunately I don't have it set to autofocus and even if I did it would probably be focused on me still but yeah just quickly painted up there did all that stuff and I like the quality of it there it's just the fact that I made the ship too small that the wings Actually, it didn't build in like some components of it there and some of it just fell off or was just too brittle or not sick enough to survive, handle its own weight basically, among other things. But yeah, I was, I'm still regardless pretty happy with it there. I just did a very brief painting with it there otherwise. I also did one, one with a copy of another swarmer there just with the higher quality print to kind of compare the two. But it's not worth showing there because it's the exact same as the original Swarmer, there's nothing new in that. What is exciting to show though is, oh yesterday, Saturday, as I'm doing this recording anyway, is I actually started to print up my Pulverizer, the Pulverizer Cruiser that I'm so fond of from the video series. The little cruiser that's been demolishing stuff. Although I only made like half of it so far and of course it's in its natural color, which actually makes it a lot more harder to admire the, t the detailing of it there because of that but when I get around to crafting the other half of it there and get this all painted hopefully you can appreciate the quality of this what I'm hoping to do though over the next week maybe two weeks is try and figure out how to sand it all down to kind of smooth it out that's ideally what I would love to do it is going to be pretty damn difficult because of all the curves and little grooves that are in here but if I can figure out how to get a nice quality type of sanding in without ruining all the finer details like the metal trim and that, I am going to be in love with this thing. It's going to be a relatively good size too because the pulverizer half I'm showing you right now is just about 6 centimeters long if, I, if the measurements are accurate. So if I put the other half on that's going to be another 6 centimeters so we're looking at basically 12 centimeter long pulverizer and of course I'm going to have to figure out some good ways to kind of glue it together and put some like pe what is, yeah put some paper clips there cut drill some holes and so that way it doesn't fall apart on me when I do finally get around to gluing the two halves together so that might be the biggest hassle aside for just sanding it there because I could pretty much paint it as is and and actually it would work, look really damn good there you would have to actually be paying close attention to it to actually notice the grooves or the different layers to it. Of course that doesn't fold very well for the actual high quality paints when it eventually gets to that point though. Ooh, excuse me. I just ate like a few minutes ago so the gas is starting to get to me. I was really hoping to get this done before then. But yeah, the pulp riders come along nicely. I plan on having the second half printed there momentarily, like sometime over the week. And then we can get to work on hopefully sanding it. I would like to sand it, but otherwise, yeah, if I don't really sand it though, the big problem is going to be like the higher quality type of painting techniques, like doing the, sh the shading, like the washing, which is like something for plastic modeling techniques to kind of have a very watery type of paint, essentially, that goes into all the grooves and settles there, kind of giving a natural darkness to it with the right kind of colors, but that is the progress we're at so far. I did have a really big scare yesterday though too with the 3D printer, oh my. I think I accidentally broke the 3D printer 
for a little bit there because what happened was the filament stopped uh, trying ejecting plastic there because I it seemed like the the packet itself what what is the the filament cartridge yeah the filament car yeah the filament cartridge there was it seems like it was catching there because it was all folded up and like pressing against the roof there I kind of panicked a little bit while it was building the moth or at least the first attempt at pulverizer actually and I tried moving it there while it was running and of course I think I twisted it and the part of the plastic was inside the in the extruder basically broke off and it took a couple hours because it would I tried all the other tools that came with it there to try and clean it and replace it, but it wouldn't work. So it took a couple hours. Unfortunately, those were a stressful few hours, but I managed to get it working again. Thank God. But slow and steady things are making progress. Even if I were to just get the second half of the pulverizer built as is and just paint it, it would be my best work yet. But I want to try and put a little bit more effort into it. Other than that, I'm um, just trying to carry on with the Galactic Civilization videos in general and I am slowly building up to the XCOM, XCOM 2's uh, release. I'm actually starting to play that game during my free time and in preparation for it because I am looking to try and do a YouTube series on that there. Not sure exactly how I'm going to do it, if it's just going to go straight up to higher difficulties and get my ass brutally beat or what, but we shall see. Thanks for tuning in. I will talk to you all next week.